Hello everybody, Turner from Mountain Made Fitness Collective. I'm going to take you through a warm up today and two short workouts. So we're going to do warm up, a couple of, you know, three to five minutes, some simple movements. All of the content and all of the detail will be below. Um, if you have any uh, questions, stuff like that, please don't hesitate to ask. We will check through and make sure we answer them for you. Um, so without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to do three rounds of 10 squats, three inchworms, 10 push-ups and then 10 reverse lunges. So 10 squats, keeping your chest nice and up, driving those knees out, making sure that you get a nice depth. I also find just looking up really helps to keep that chest up. You know, if I look down, I'm ending up gonna bring my chest down. So just looking up, driving those knees out, recruiting the glutes. Now we're gonna go for three inchworms. So we're gonna walk out to a plank position, watching out for your hips. So. If you're as flexible as I am, you have to go nice and wide with your legs. If you've got better flexibility, you can go closer with your feet, but then we're just gonna walk out into that push-up position. And remember, we're just going into this position, we're not allowing our hips to drop through, and then back up. If you need to bend your knees, that's totally fine. And back through, little steps with the hands. This is a really good one for warming up the shoulders, warming up the core, getting your hamstrings hamstrings nice and stretched out and through and now we've done our three inch worms we're going to go for 10 push-ups so chest nice and up you can do this again you can do it on your knees I want you to not look forward I want you to look down at the ground just otherwise you can strain your neck a bit so from this position through all the way down all the way back up none of these little ones all the way down touch the ground all the way back up if you need to go onto your knees, that is totally fine. Or take a box, that's another really good way, or a, a bench or a chair. It's a really good way of scaling this movement. I've totally lost count. So we're gonna call it there. And now I'm gonna go for reverse lunges. So one thing I want you to watch out for on your lunges is that you're stepping back. This is gonna be a bit more stable um, uh, just while you warm up your glutes. And also we're thinking about that shin, that vertical front shin. It's vertical and it's directly beneath, the heel is directly beneath the knee. So if I'm stepping back, I'm into this position, as you can see, driving through and standing tall. And same thing, back down. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine and a lovely one ten so hopefully with you guys hopefully maybe you can put on some music something like that we can't do with youtube so make sure that you pop your pop your favorite tunes on get yourself moving through steph is trying to say something to me oh yeah so remember this is going to prep you for your skiing and remember we're going to develop this power through the legs really nice movement and this would be a good warm up before going skiing. I'm always surprised, and I'm also guilty of it. I'm one of these people who gets on the gondola, throws on my snowboard after, and uh, starts skiing down the hill, and I haven't done a warm up. You know, so think about it. Maybe you can do some squats in the gondola, squats at the top of the hill or the bottom of the hill. Lunges are also really good. So there's our three inchworms. Now we're gonna go for a push-ups. Remember, this is just a warm-up. If you're as lucky as I am to be doing it next to a fire, you're definitely gonna be hot. Okay, so, whoo! Gonna have to turn this bad boy down. Okay, so we're gonna go for our push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I often find with push-ups it's really good to break those up. So if you're doing, um, it's something that I find with a lot of our people, oh, sorry, I've gone into squats. Let's get back to lunges. I'm always trying to cut the warm up. Okay, so as you can tell, walking and talking is rather difficult for me, but we'll get through there. So I'm gonna go six, seven, eight, nine, 10, okay. So, we're gonna go with two rounds today. If you're lucky like me, you are bloody warm. Okay, now the workout. So, 
you can go off with the clock with me. You don't have to worry about having a clock yourself. Just make sure you've got some good tunes, okay? I'm going with no tunes. It's a bit like we're doing it in a church. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two Tabatas. Tabatas are eight rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Totals at four minutes. We're gonna do two of them back to back. We're gonna do two movements. First one's gonna be burpees. Lucky us, lucky you. And the next one is just gonna be squats. You can make this harder by making it squat jumps if you want. So, burpees. The way we're gonna do this movement, our hands go to the floor and they get stuck to the floor. I like to tell the kids, they're glued in, okay? So, they're stuck to the floor and then your legs move away and then they come back, okay? So, none of this hand moving in, hand moving out. So, it looks like so. Hands go down, they're stuck to the floor, legs go back all the way to the ground, back up, jump the legs towards the hands, jump tall. So, there isn't, you're not going like this. Oh, I don't know what's going on like so, and then back out like this. Remember, those hands are glued. We are not doing inchworms, okay? We are doing burpees. Another one that we often see is this. All day, no, okay? You are getting to the ground. We're gonna get a push up in there as well. You need upper body strength. If you're going into the back country, you're not gonna be digging someone out with your legs, okay? It's all well and good to have the strength in your legs, but you need to have upper body strength and also, if you're skiing on the hill, you want to be able to combine the upper body and lower body to be as, as, as uh, uh, powerful as possible, okay? So both sides are talking to each other. So burpee, all the way to the floor. It's not a strict push-up. Look how I flop to the floor and coil up. So through, and then back up, and through. Now, the last scale we're going to talk about is you can take the jump out, that's fine. Step in, step out. So look at it. Through, step, step, down. Up, step, step, through, okay? That is a really good scale. Burpee works power, endurance, flexibility, and strength. One of the best movements, and you need seven foot by three foot. You really can't pretend that you can't do it if you can do a burpee, okay? You can get fit, strong, and powerful by doing that movement. So, squats, chest is nice and up, driving those knees out like we talked about, keeping that depth, Okay, often when people are doing something like this, they're like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm doing it. No, think about it. I don't care how many you do, I want you to get low and get fully back up. So it's down, back up. Even if you're only doing five in 20 seconds, that's good. Okay, so now that the bald English guy has gone on long enough, we're gonna get to the workout. So let's go, reset. We're already at zero, zero, Turner. What are we doing? Burpees, 20 seconds on. 10 seconds off, I want you to chill those beans when you have that 10 seconds rest. Now pick a number after the first round, and that's what you're gonna aim for. I'm gonna try and remember what I do. Okay, so 10 seconds, Woo! here we go. I'm ready, turn up that music. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, remember, I don't care how high you jump either. Okay, it's not about jumping through the roof and doing some sort of like flash dance, okay? It's just nice and off the ground. And through one more, maybe we can fit one more in. Okay, good. 10 seconds rest before Turner has a stroke. Okay, luckily the fire's down a tiny bit, but I like to work out in a sauna. Three, two, one, let's go again. That's it. Good, remember you don't have to jump high. If you already do our programs, our ski fit programs and stuff like that, you know that I love burpees. So don't be surprised to see them. Nice. Now, remember how many you're doing because that gives you an aim, okay? So, without further ado, we're gonna be back in for the second minute. Three, two, one. This is number three. I'm gonna have to get Steph to throw me a towel because I'm gonna sweat all over the rug. It is the occupational hazard of doing a workout in front of a fire. By the end of it, I might pass out. Oh, there you go, off camera, in. You just can't get this production quality anywhere else. They try. Two, one, let's go. I'm going to be naked by the end of this class as well. Is it so hot in here? Don't worry. 
We'll make sure we censor it out. Three, four. Doing well, everybody. I think I'm getting around six or seven in there. It is super hot. Maybe next time we'll turn the fire down a tiny bit. Okay, two minutes done. Two minutes to go. Two, one. So remember, it doesn't matter how many you do, keep that form, focus on the quality of the movement. Once you get that quality of movement up, then you can up the intensity. Three left, we've got three left, three sets of 20 seconds, that's one minute. I know it's like Sesame Street with fitness. Three, two, one, we're back in. We're back in for the money. Nice work everybody. Both these movements that we're doing today can be done anywhere with no equipment. Okay, 10 seconds rest, two to go, two sets of 20 seconds. We're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. Remember, fully open those hips at the top of the burpee. One more. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to be posting these videos up. If you have a time that you like it to be, then tell us because we might do these live. Three, two, one, let's go. Last 10 seconds coming up. Let's push. That's it. Drive those legs up. Nice work. Three seconds. Excellent. Nice work. Okay. Grab a towel. Woo! Grab some water. If you're like me, go outside, have a walk around before you pass out. Might open a window. Let's see if we can. Ooh. That's it. It's the middle of winter, but stay up, stay up. That's it. Oh, well. Anyway, the window doesn't want to stay up, so we'll be okay. So we're going to go again in 40 seconds. So we've had a nice minute rest in between. Let's see if I can open this window. This one will stay open. So, squats this time. Pick a number. Try and hit that number every time. Maybe the first one, we're just gonna work it out. We're gonna go in 20 seconds. Get ready, turn the music up. Enjoy this little bit of rest. Nice work, everybody. We're going in 10 seconds. We're gonna go in. Three, two, one, let's go. So remember, keep that depth. Driving those knees out. Notice, where is the weight in your feet? Are your heels lifting off the ground? Think about driving your heels through the ground. Helps engage your glutes. And keep your chest up. And rest. Are your knees caving in? Think about pushing them out. Activating your glutes. Squeeze your glutes to the top. Okay, we're gonna go three, two, one. Same thing. Where is our stance with our feet? With me, I'm about shoulder width with my feet, not hip, so just a tiny bit wider. And then also my feet are slightly turned out. Okay, we've got five seconds to go. You got it. And rest, nice work. So you shouldn't be as if you're skiing down a hill. You're not trying to drive your knees forward. You're trying to drive them out. Three, two, one. Let's go, this is the third round. We are almost at halfway. If you need to, take the jump in there. You don't have to go high, okay? So I'm not talking about crazy jump. Just keep that depth, get nice and low. Chest is nice and up. That's it, one more coming up. Good, okay. Whew. Here we go. We're gonna go in three. Nope, not three, sorry. I'm cutting your rest, don't let me cut your rest. Two, one, let's go. Chest nice and up. As you can see, I'm moving my arms. 
I'm lifting them up as I go down, driving them back as I stand tall. Helps with a good rhythm. You don't have to do it, but make sure you keep your hands off your legs and rest. Woo. Okay. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go, down. That's it. Count the numbers, try and fight for it. Try and hit the same one each time. This is measurable, observable, and repeatable. You know your time, it's 20 seconds of work. You know your rest, it's 10 seconds. One more, oh, there we go. You know your movement, it's just working with your body weight. Now remember your reps, and this is something that you can repeat. It's important to, to write these things down and back in everybody, because if you, uh, if you note it down, you can see yourself get fitter, faster, stronger. It helps with the motivation. Okay, so that's something that Steph and I often do, is we're either gonna write in our notes on our phone, use our programming, rest, or we're gonna write it on, uh, in a notepad. However you wanna do it. Last round's coming up now. Three, two, one, let's go. Last two left, 40 seconds of work. That's it, 10 seconds to go. We're gonna be ready for skiing when it comes, I promise. Okay, and rest, go shake out those legs. Wipe yourself down, have a drink of water. Water, not anything else. Okay, and we're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. I tell you, if someone tried to hand me a cup of tea right now, I think I'd freak out, it's so hot in here. Okay, coming up to that last 10 seconds. Let's drive. Drive the hips up. Wonder about the weight in your feet. Where is it? Is it throughout the full of your foot? All the way. Let's drive and stand. Well done. Woo! So, two tablets is done. Steph is trying to give me the three. Say, do a third. I'm okay. I'm good. We've done the warm up. You guys have done so well. So, quick warm down stretch. Get that water, get that towel, chill the beans, and here we go. So, really good ones. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure I can be seen on this one, but we're gonna go onto your knees, go into pigeon, take that knee nice and high, and then if this causes any discomfort in the knee, please don't do it. This is not a good idea to do, but I'm also not sitting down on my heel, uh, my uh, hips here, they are square to the floor and as if they're on railway tracks, this way and this way, both my hips. So here, with our stretching, we're thinking 30 seconds to a minute is what we want to do on each side. And now is the point where we're just taking ourselves down, relaxing, getting our oxygen back in, make sure that we're going to get our food in. So what we're also offer, now we're going to change legs, we also offer online programs, we do ski ebooks, uh, cooking ebooks for the backcountry cooking. If you're interested in these, want other workouts and stuff like that, make sure to check the links below. Everything's gonna be there. Uh, if you have any questions, please send them out there. What's my favorite color? Blue, no green, but no, seriously. Um, if you've got any questions, then yeah, please ask. We will be there to either try and work them out, be able to answer you straight away, or we will find a person who can. Okay, now we've done our pigeon there. We're gonna go for one of my favorites. It's really simple, and you've probably all done it, I'm sure. It's just a quad stretch. So, taking that foot up and through, and what we're thinking about is we're gonna allow the knee to come forward, then we're gonna pull it back, drive my hip forward, and I should get this stretch into my hip flexor into the top of my quad as well. So really thinking of allowing that stretch to deepen through there so we're not here into this position, we're through here. You should feel it all the way through that quad and into the hip flexor. If you can't balance like this, make sure not to put your hand on the local chimney. Okay, so grab hold of something, nothing hot. Okay, other side, Whew. through again, allow that knee forward, pull it back, drive the hips forward. Nice. Remember some days 
we can only do the warm-up okay there's some days where we're tired okay so be kind to yourself other days you do the warm-up you do the workout you totally smash it all okay but that doesn't happen all the time and so it's better to do three minutes five minutes ten minutes than it is to do yeah because I can't do a little bit I'm not going to do anything think how much that goes to throughout a year if you did five minutes every day ten minutes some days you're doing an hour it's all going in the right direction so nice work everybody and we will see you again and uh, thanks for joining us